happy morning my dear student how are you are you fine how many of you wrote the essay assignment i got only few assignment honestly respected parents please encourage your children to write assignment many of them wrote in paper you should write a chemistry assignment in note then only i can check whether you are you are learn or not during the revision time this is a precious time to learn your study more so kindly cooperate on for your study purpose okay then you have today our learning objectives to learn about the properties preparation and the uses of silicon tetrachloride what is our learning objectives to learn about preparation properties and uses of silicon tetrachloride what is the formula for silicon tetrachloride sicl4 this is the formula for silicon tetrachloride how can we prepare silicon tetrachloride means two methods we have to prepare silicon tetrachloride one is the reaction between sio2 sio2 means silica the silica with the carbon and the chlorine silica react with the carbon and the chlorine we get silica tetrachloride and also carbon monoxide here the temperature is very very important 1675 kelvin this is the temperature here silica tetrachloride is prepared by passing chlorine to carbon and silica we get silica tetrachloride and carbon monoxide this is the first method what is the first method tell me it is prepared by passing chlorine over to silica and carbon we get silica tetrachloride what is the formula for silica tetrachloride sicl4 this is one method another method is silica react with hydrochloric acid silica react with hydrochloric acid we get silica tetrachloride and also the evolution of hydrogen gas clear first one what silica react with carbon and chlorine at the temperature is 1675 kelvin we get silica tetrachloride another one silica react with hydrochloric acid silica react with hydrochloric acid we get silica tetrachloride and also hydrogen gas then what are the properties important point what are the properties of silica tetrachloride it is a colorless fuming liquid it is a freezes at minus 70 degrees celsius it is a colorless liquid and it freezes at minus 70 degrees celsius in moist air silica tetrachloride hydrolysis to form hydrochloric acid in moist air silica tetrachloride is hydrolysis to with water to form silica silica and also hydrochloric acid this is the first properties the next reaction next physical next next chemical reaction alkalisis first one the chloride ion in silicon tetrachloride because the formula for silicon tetrachloride is sicl4 here have the chloride ions this chloride ions in tetra, uh, silicon tetrachloride can be substituted by nucleophile such as oh or etc by by using suitable reagent for example silicon tetrachloride on reacts with ethyl alcohol we get ester group one of the ester that is called tetraethoxylate 
on reacts with the alcohol. But uh, we can be saying ethyl alcohol. What is the formula for ethyl alcohol? C2H5OH. C2H5OH. What is the product we get? This hydrogen combines with this chlorine to form HCl. A hydrogen combines with the chlorine to form HCl. So we get silica, this, this ethoxy group will be attached to silicon, that is SiOC2H5. One of the eth ethoxy group is attached there. Here, it forms. The name of the compound is tetraethoxy silane. Tetraethoxy silane. Then, hydrogen combines with the chlorine. Hydrogen combines with the chlorine to form HCl. How much chlorine is there? 4 chlorine. 4 chlorine. So, 4 HCl. How much ethoxy is there? 4. Now the equation is balanced. Here. Tetra ethoxy silane. Tetra ethoxy silane. What's the name of the compound? Tetra ethoxy silane. What should we ask like that? How is tetra ethoxy silane prepared? How is tetra ethoxy silane prepared? How do I write the answer? Simply you can be like silicon tetra chloride. On reacting with ethyl alcohol, we get tetra ethoxy silane. Next one, reaction with ammonia. Silicon reacts with ammonia. What is the formula for ammonia? NH3. NH3. The temperature is 330 Kelvin. What is the temperature? 3, 330 Kelvin. The presence of ether. We get Silicon tetrachloride, sorry, silicon tetrachloride, tetrachloride on reacts with ammonia. Silicon tetrachloride on reacts with ammonia. The temperature is 330 Kelvin and also the presence of ether. We get a new compound that is one of the hydrogen combines with the chlorine. One of the hydrogen combines with the chlorine. Hydrogen combines with the chlorine to form HCl. Here we are taking two moles of silicon tetrachloride. How much moles of silicon tetrachloride? Two moles. Yes, SiCl4. Again, one of the another hydrogen combines to chlorine to form HCl. Total, how much HCl is leave out? Two HCl leave out. What is the remaining product? Here we start with here. Here are the three chlorine, so make it Cl3, then silica, yes, I. Next one, nitrogen, hydrogen, same that another one more product here. SiCl3 plus how much HCl? 2 HCl. Can you write the equation? Chlorosilane, the name of the compound is Chlorosilane. Here, what's more? First we write silicon tetrachloride, SiCl4, reacts with ammonia, NH3, the temperature is 330 Kelvin, ether, the presence of ether, here, one of the hydrogen combines with one chlorine, so we get HCl, you should be take another one SiCl4, SiCl4, Another hydrogen combines with the chlorine to form one more HCl. Total two HCl is leave out. What's the remaining product here? SiCl3. SiCl3. Can be reverse it. We can be right. That is Cl3 Si. Start with here. Cl3 Si. NH. NH. Here also. SiCl3. Chlorosilane. The important question, how is chlorosilane prepared? That's the question, how is chlorosilane prepared? Then I already told you about the uses, it is used for the production of semiconducting silicon, semiconducting silicon. And also, it is used starting with the synthesis of silica gel, silica gel, silicic ester, etc. Okay?
Aber next learning update tools. The next two learning objectives to learn about the preparation, properties, types, uses of silicones. What's the next learning objectives? To learn about the preparation, properties, types, uses of silicones. The silicones are poly, siloxane, are the organosilicone polymers. These are called what? Organosilicone polymer. They have the general formula R2SIO. What's the general formula? R2SIO. Their empirical formula is similar to ketone, that is R2CO. What's the empirical formula? That is similar to ketone, R2CO. They are named as silicones. The silicones are linear or close linked. The silicones may be linear. What is the name of linear? The compound is arranged in a straight line. And also cross linked. Cross, cross, cross linked. This text of the compound also having. They may be linear or uh, cross linked. Because they, are, they have a high thermal ability. So they are called as they are called high temperature polymers. What's the meaning? They have high thermal stability. The silicone having a high thermal stability, high thermal stability. So they are called as high temperature polymers. They are called as high temperature polymers. Uh, next up, the preparation of silicones. How can we prepare silicones? Silicones are prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylate. Say all of you. Silicones are prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylate. The formula is R2SiCl2. Clear? Silicones are prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylates. Otherwise, are Diaryl dichloroxylate. Here, first we are using dialkyl dichloroxylates. Alkyl, alkyl refers to methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, like that. Alkyl, alkyl. Aryl, we are using benzene ring. Aryl. Silicones are prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl. Dichloroxylate R2SiCl2. Other one, diaryl dichloroxylase AR2SiCl2, which is prepared by passing vapors RCl or ARCl over silicone at 570, 570 Kelvin with the copper as a catalyst. Here we are using one temperature. 570 degree Kelvin, 570 Kelvin, and using copper as a catalyst. Clear? How can you prepare silicone? Silicones are prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylase. What is the formula for dialkyl dichloroxylase? R2SiCl2. Otherwise, diaryl dichloroxylase. That is what is the formula? AR2SiCl2. Okay, anyhow, second one. The hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylase, that is R2SiCl2, yields, we get a straight chain polymers. We get what? A straight chain polymers. Already I told you about the straight chain and cross linked polymers. Here, dialkyl dichloroxylase, that formula is R2SiCl2, yields, we get a straight chain polymers. The second one, the hydrolysis of mono, monoalkyl dichloroxylate, that is the formula RSiCl2 is a very cross-linked polymers. What do you get? A very cross-linked polymers. Here, the effective group is present on the both the two sides of this compound. One of the effective group is, that is the OH group is present on the terminal side, terminal side of this compound. Next about 
what are the types of silicone one is linear silicone second one is cyclic silicone the third one is cross linked silicones three types one is linear cyclic cross linked silicones these are the types of silicones first one linear silicones it is prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylene it is prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylene here having again two more varieties one is silicon rubbers and silicon resin the two types silicon rubbers the silicon rubbers these are the silicones are bridged, bridged together by methylene or similar group methylene we are using methylene or similar group silicon rubbers here the silicones are bridged have some connection some connection by methylene group methylene or similar group about the resin these are obtained by the blending silicones with organic resins such as acrylic ester acrylic is one group this group is with combination with ester next about the cyclic cyclic silicones these are obtained by the hydrolysis of r2sicl2 these are obtained by the hydrolysis of r2sicl2 r2 yes i see it don't forget the formula okay next one is a cross linked silicones what is that one cross linked silicones these are obtained by the hydrolysis of r s i c l 2 these are obtained by the hydrolysis of r s i c l 2 these are the types of silicones next one what are the properties of silicone what are the properties first one All silicones are water repellent. What's mean of water repellent? Water can be used. That is called water repellent. Next one. These are also thermal and electrically insulated. Thermal and electrically insulated. Second point. The first one water repellent. Second one thermal and electrically insulated. They are chemically inert. They are chemically inert. next one lower silicones and higher silicones lower silicones are oily liquids higher silicones are waxy solid waxy long chain structures the viscosity of the silicones remains constant and does not change with the temperature the viscosity the silicone viscosity is remains constant does not change with temperature these are the few uh, properties of silicones Next one, very very important question. Repeating board exam question. What are the uses of silicones? What are the uses? Very 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 important question. It is even used for the low temperature lubrication, vacuum bath and high temperature oil bath. Low temperature lubrication or vacuum bath and high temperature oil bath. It is used for making waterproofing clothes, waterproofing textile, waterproofing clothes. It is used for making insulating materials and electric motors and also other appliances. What's the third use? It is used for insulating materials, electric motors and other electrical appliances. Like it is mixed with paint and enamels to make them to. Damp resist, damp resist to sunlight and other chemicals, etc. These are the uses of silicones. Mr. Alafio, I told you how to prepare silicones. How to prepare silicones? It is prepared by the hydrolysis of dialkyl dichloroxylene. That is R two S I C L two. Otherwise, or Ar two Ar two SiCl two di i di cross le di alkyl di cross le. It is obtained by the reaction between Cl and silicon. 
otherwise acl and silicon first of all we are taking rcl alkyl chloride alkyl chloride rcl this rcl on reacts with the silicon the presence of copper as a catalyst 570 kelvin copper as a catalyst 570 kelvin what is the product here R2 ESI in the cell we can come and attach the center we get R2 ESI CL2 dialkyl dichloroxylate dialkyl dichloroxylate this is the first equation get it right second one the hydrolysis of dichloroxylate is straight chain polymer we get straight chain polymer that is dialkyl dichloroxylate can be written as si silicon at the center and top and bottom we can write alkyl group dialkyl group the both the both the ends we can write chlorine chlorine dialkyl dichloroxylate what is the name of this compound dialkyl r to have dialkyl dichloroxylate on heating with the water on react with the water h2 o on react with the water here we are adding water what is happening here suppose here are adding water means h o h water can be written as h o h here and here also water can be written as h o h that's the reaction will be hydrogen and chlorine to form hcl that's the reaction will be hydrogen and chlorine to form hcl The OHs will be attached here. This OH will be attached here. So what's the product? SI R R O H. This is the first one. Straight chain. This is the first one. Straight chain polymers. Active group. Active OH group. This is straight chain polymers. The second step. We are taking two moles of this compound. Two moles of this compound. Can be written as H H O S I R R O H. That's one more of the same compound. One more same compound. H O S I R R O H. So what is happening here? Hydrogen combines with O H. Hydrogen combines with O H to form water. <coughs> so what's the product? H O S I R R. Here water molecule is leaving out. So oxygen S I R R O H. Clear? So tell me the product is O H group S I. R R next oxygen am I right oxygen next one after that oxygen yes I R R O H okay then again we are taking one more carbon From the same group, we can take one more carbon. That is H O S I R R O S I R R O H. We can take one more carbon. This carbon, first carbon, H O S I R R O H. We can take one more carbon. So what's the carbon? What's the product? Is something the same product? What's the product? H O S I R R O S I R R O S I R R O H. Okay? This is what the straight chain polymer. The straight chain polymer. This is what. A straight chain polymer. Straight. The compound is already written as linear straight chain. Next one is a cross-linked polymer. What's the next one? Cross-linked polymer.
that is mono alkyl chloroxane or SiCl3 or SiCl3 this is the word mono alkyl chloroxane is a cross linked polymer very cross very complex cross linked polymer here we are adding one of the group SI here is SI start with SI O SI clear silicon oxygen silicon next oxygen silicon oxygen silicon oxygen silicon can write first start with the silicon silicon oxygen silicon oxygen silicon oxygen silicon or simply I. that is each oxygen atom is attached with silicon like that clear next we are adding methylene group both the silk each silicon we are adding two methylene group that is one methyl group second methyl group like that here methyl group methyl group here methyl group methyl group methyl group methyl group can you write can you write this is a like a square shape next we are taking a benzene benzene like benzene ring shape how can you write the benzene ring shape just take the oxygen in upwards oxygen is the same then ok next who is the next thing next element yes i silicon next after that oxygen clear next one silicon next one oxygen silicon oxygen clear each silicon have two methyl group 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 can you write this all wrong clear this is what then cross link cross very common cross link polymers this also can be written as like that it can be per methyl we are using R we are using R so what is the product what is the product silicate materials and silica the glass and uh, ceramics industries also based on this chemistry, chem chemistry silicates there are types of silicate what are the types of silicate means ortho silicate ortho silicate 
His other name is called nesosilicate. Orthosilicate and nesosilicate. Next one is cyclic silicate. Which one is called cyclic silicate? The name other is called ring silicate. Ring silicate. Next one is called inosilicate. Inosilicate. These are some varieties of uh, silicate and also having chain silicate, sheet silicate, etc. First one is uh, uh, artho silicate. Artho. <coughs> Other one is called niso silicate. Niso silicate. The simplest silicate which contains discrete SiO4 4 minus unit. Tetrahedral units are called orthosilicate, other is called nesosilicate. Clear? The silicate which contain, the silicate which contain, simple silicate which contain, discrete SiO4 4 minus unit. Tetrahedral unit. Discrete SiO4 4 minus tetrahedral units are called as orthosilicate, other is called nesosilicate. Here we are giving a very good example is Phenacite, phenacite. Formula is B to SiO4. B to SiO4. Here, the B to SiO4, O4, the B to B, B2 plus ions are tetrahedral is surrounded by oxygen ion. B, B is occupied at the center. The center is surrounded by oxygen atom ion, oxygen ions. This is an example of arthos. Arthosilicate, other is called nesosilicate. Here, oxygen is having the four, four edges, that is surrounded by four different patterns. In the center of this, here, is the silicon atom. This is called what? Arthosilicate. Next one is thiosilicate, other is called sosilicate. The silicate which contains Si2O76 minus ions. The silicate which contains Si2O76 minus ions are called as pyrosilicate. Otherwise called sosilicate. Clear? Here, this pyrosilicates are formed by the joining of two SiO4 4 minus tetrahedral unit by sharing one oxygen atom at one corner one oxygen atom at one corner sharing between the two units here example is tortivetrite for example the formula sc 2 si 2 o 7 what is the formula here sc 2 si 2 o 7 this is the formula for pyrosilicate Next one is called cyclic silicate. It is otherwise called ring silicate. The silicate, cyclic silicate, otherwise called ring silicate. The cyclic silicate which is containing SiO3 N into 2 N minus. What is the formula? SiO3 N into 2 minus ion which are formed by the linking of 3 or more tetrahedral SiO4 units. What is, the, what is the definition here? Which are formed by the linking three or more tetrahedral SI4 unit cyclically are called as cyclic silicate. Next one, the examples of cyclic silicate, otherwise ring silicate would be example. Bell. What is the formula for bell? B3 Al2 SiO3 six times. What is the formula? B3 Al2 SiO3 six times. This is the examples of cyclic silicate, otherwise called ring silicate. Next, here having some structures 3D diagram, 2D diagram, and some diagram. This can be discussed in the next class. And I give the assignment for the today assignment. The preparation of silicon tetrachloride and also the reactions reactions in silicon tetrachloride and also what are the reaction in silicones only the reaction is enough no need to write the line only the reactions what are the reactions in silicon tetrachloride and also silicon this is the assignment today 
uh, listen all of you, we have insufficient time. So now only you should be learn this all the innovation. We have a lot of lot of lot of reactions. I think that more than thousand and five hundred reactions here. But at least some important innovations you should be learn thoroughly. It's a very very simple reactions for today classes. It's a very very simple reactions. If you are taking two times return practice now, it is okay. Now only you can be learn it. Otherwise, if you are not learning, it is very difficult for you. So kindly please all of you, those who are watching the video, please all the students you must write the assignment. Not writing the paper, you should be write in the chemistry assignment note. I want to check it during the revision time. So, so kindly all of you, all of you, please cooperate with me. Thank you all of you. Thank you. Thank you.